Hi everyone, Darren here, and on today's episode of WotC Academy, we will be looking at how to play the Centurion Action X, otherwise known as the Centurion Action 10, or commonly nicknamed the CAX. This tank, after the recent buffs and nerfs to its medium tank brethren, is widely considered to be a fantastically average medium tank. It is often considered the Swiss Army Knife of mediums, the Jack of All Trades, Master of None tank. But in short, this tank is considered to be one of the better medium tanks within the tanks of NATO countries and World of Tanks. So today, we will be looking briefly at the armor profile of the tank, and outline its playstyle, followed by recommendations on how to set up the Centurion Action X, and then we'll close with some gameplay. So let's get started. Now as you can see on the armor profile of the tank, the Action X is a typical NATO medium tank that focuses on hull down tactics. Tanks with this tactic in mind are designed to face the enemy hull down or on a ridge line, thus are given a strong turret on top of a moderately armored chassis. Now keeping this tactic in mind, when the Action X is using its full 10 degrees of gun depression, the turret of the Action X is incredibly hard to pen, as seen here on this photo. Now when playing this tank, it is often recommended to play as a second line support tank, making use of your great turret armor and amazingly accurate 105mm L7 gun to support your team. And if the tanks are of lower tier or really low health, it is possible to play the Action X extremely aggressively. But it is not recommended to play it aggressively if facing equal tier opponents which may also be heavy tanks or TDs. Now going back on what I said uh, in the intro about the Action X being the jack of all trades or Swiss Army knife of uh, medium tanks, I'm basically saying that the uh, Action X here has average stats most, mostly across the board in terms of the medium tanks. This means that the Action X can excel very well as a medium tank. It can perform the scout role fairly well if need be. It's obviously not a light tank, so it won't. It's not suited to that role, but it could. Um, it could also function as a TD uh, with its fantastic accuracy at .32 base, with no uh, crew skills or equipment or anything to boost the accuracy. Um, and also in the right conditions, it could brawl and hold its own amongst uh, heavy tanks uh, in the right conditions. Uh, the only role it does not fill is artillery, and that is because it is not capable of, you know, shooting like artillery or functioning as artillery, as artillery is a self-propelled gun and not a physical tank. Now, getting to how to set up this tank, there are two main setups you can choose from when it comes to the Action X. You can choose Vision, or you can choose Performance overall. If you were to choose the Vision Equipment setup, you will want to run Gun Rammer, Vertical Stabilizers, and Optics. I would also like to note that this is the preferred setup if you are attempting to mark the Action X. If you choose the performance setup, which is what I currently use as shown in this photo, you will want to run gun rammer, vertical stabilizers, and vents. The reason I choose this is that way I increase my gun accuracy and performance overall as with the Action X. I personally focus uh, improving accuracy and gun performance above anything else on the tank. Now when it comes to consumables, it is ultimately your choice as to how much of each ammunition type you want, but as you can see here by my setup, I currently run 40 APCR, 20 heat, and 8 hash for lightly armored targets such as artillery. Now when it comes to your, your other consumables, it is again ultimately your choice between running premium or regular consumables, but equipping some sort of fire extinguisher is a must. Because the Action X has a high chance of fire at 20%, I strongly recommend running an automatic fire extinguisher, as if you get shot in the back, you will almost always get caught on fire. As for the rest of my consumables, I run standard repair and first aid kit, um, 
and with an automatic fire extinguisher as my only uh, premium consumable that I use. Finally, getting to crew skills now, you want to focus on the first three important skills. Uh, first are the Sixth Sense, Brothers in Arms, and Repairs. Uh, I made a special crew video on, um, on the channel. I will link that below in the description for you to check out how to set up your crew skills. After those three uh, skills, you want to uh, focus then on smooth ride and snapshot to increase the gun accuracy and the turret rotation speed and everything. Because the gun is accurate, you want to boost that accuracy even more. After which, choose whatever skills you want. So if you want to increase, uh, increase your camouflage or um, your vision, either, either way, you can choose however you want to do it. But I strongly recommend doing snapshot and smooth ride as your fourth and fifth skills. Overall, that pretty much covers how to set up the Action X. Now let's look at some gameplay. So here we are on encounter mode on Duke La Pass. Um, I'm going to head south to confront the enemy on the E-line because of the fact that uh, I've noticed that my entire team is actually heading east to try and perform some weird flank because they all think the enemy is going to be on the 9 line. But um, in reality, the majority of the enemy tanks are going to be centered right here on the 1 through 4 line. Um, so my strategy is I'm going to try and get up against one of these rocks here um, to uh, get already safe, but also at the same point in time use the uh, rolling hills to hide my tank in a hull down position. As you can see here, um, I uh, get hull down, I get next to this big rock. Uh, our light tank charges in, uh, albeit I believe very, very foolishly. And now you just get to start to see the accuracy of the gun take effect. Um, I will point out there are a couple times that the shots should have landed, but instead they don't. It is just pure RNG. Um, we've all encountered that sometimes in games where rounds that should have hit don't hit, and they just go into the dirt three feet in front of us. But this is pretty much how, how to play this tank, is you just get to a position that is very advantageous to you, and you just go to town on anyone that, you know, exposes himself long enough for you to be able to get a shot. And that's pretty much all you're going to see this entire video is just me being able to get really good shots on the tank. Um, just really not much more to say here. Just you're, you're seeing the accuracy take effect. You're seeing that the I'm able to hide my tank effectively, hold down. Um, and just i'm able to get sh shots like on the lower plate here that some tanks weren't even able to get um now i i see the waffle there i wanted to try and track him and then switch to uh my hesh round to try and get something into his turret um unfortunately he repairs and backs off before i load and uh it is right here that i um actually have some problems switching ammo uh, I so had to fix that there that delayed my reload time and prevented me from assisting the E3 for a little bit um, right there this is one of those moments where RNG where the round should have hit but it did not um, now I'm just seeing the tanks push on I get a side shot into the 268 right there uh, the 7 ones pushing up there and um, I decided that the 263 here is more important. That was one of those rounds uh, right there that it did hit, but it was just off by a little bit. But luckily, I have already support willing to help me out with that. Um, I didn't really load heat to go through the uh, lower plate of that, mostly just because of the fact that the turret, the, the chassis of the 263 there is incredibly strong, and there would be a chance that I would not be able to pen with heat. Uh, on the 263 at the uh, angle that I was in. Now I get rushed by the 268 there, and I'm starting to think that this is this is going to be the end of it, but luckily I've got heavy tank support right behind me, and they managed to push him back with the 50B coming around and flanking him, but unfortunately taking about 700 damage in return for that, but he did save me from a very unfortunate demise. Again, I'm just sitting here on the rocks, uh, just 
trying to keep the two medium tanks in front of uh, us from pushing pushing me back or pushing towards our artillery. Fortunately, our artillery does get spotted and taken out. Um, you see me there confirm with the 50B that I understand that he's reloading. So that important communication right there is if you see someone reloading, at least it is a good idea to acknowledge that you know that they are reloading and keep that in mind. Now, I go in to try and help out our uh, TD, but uh, he gets taken out. But I do manage to put a, a good shot in the rear of the E5. The, the C100 comes in and um, puts in a shot there and tracks him. That was my goal, but the shot just got, got absorbed. The 50B has been reloaded in the E100, and the 50B are now just bullying the E5. I just, because I know the they both have a long reload and the 50B is reloading, I just go in and I take the shot. Now we're set the absolute finishing up. Uh, I've got the health to be able to go and duel the 7-1 here, so I'm just going to go in there. I'm just going to bump in a shot, and then whatever health he's got left is I'm just going to take it by ramming him. Um, I cut left here because I thought that he was still facing the medium and heavy tank to the north, but he wasn't. He was trying to run away. So what I did is I just put a shot into him, and I rammed him for the, the kill. And that concludes today's video on how to play the Centurion Action X. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. If you want to see more, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Um, I also would encourage you to let me know your thoughts on the video down in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see more of, uh, your thoughts on the video, what I could do to improve. Um, even let me know what tank you'd like me to do next. Uh, I will include in the description below uh, a link to the list of tanks that I have. Uh, I'm currently focusing on tier 10s right now, as that is the end goal for pretty much everyone in the game. So please keep it to tier 10 tanks. As long as I have it in the list, I will try and review it. Um, but again, that concludes today's video. Uh, until next time, this has been Darren of Watsi Academy.